Hello everyone, this will be the review of Verdant Skies and the key for the game was provided by developer. And I actually went through all my previous reviews to tell you that this is the best game that we are reviewing so far and I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, however, I have to start with um, one problem I had with the game, one big problem. Uh, I had two crashes so far and I played for five hours um, in two sittings. So the game did crash on me. It is saving uh, quite nicely. I guess it's saving every day. So it's not a big problem, but uh, it did crash. Um, in one case it went through um, a very big slowdown and I had uh, Google opened in the background. So maybe it was some sort of memory leak. And second time I switched it off. I switched off the um, browser, but it still crashed. Um, like second time. I think bef between that uh, or after that or before that there was one patch the game just came out and generally speaking this is very similar to Stardew Valley if you ever thought about buying uh, Stardew Valley or maybe this which is a very new game or you heard about uh, Harvest Moon which I haven't played I also haven't played Stardew Valley but I've seen it um, it's like a genre on its own and those farming games with social um, actions between characters and generally a big world. Um, one issue I might have with the game is that I'm not sure how big it is. It, it might be smaller, I think it's smaller than uh, Stardew Valley, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't think there is more than one place because this game is like on a distant planet. Uh, I think it's always the same planet. Uh, I'm also not sure about uh, random generation if there is any. However, the game is absolutely stunningly beautiful. It runs fast. It's very fun to play. I absolutely love it. Uh, I just don't know if it's gonna last for long. Um, also, those crashes would be nice if they were fixed. I also have a slight uh, issue with inventory, but I'll probably tell you about when we play. So I decided to show you. Um, I think it's the middle of the game. Uh, without going too much into story and spoilers, however, this might uh, have some spoilers. So it won't be from the start. Uh, I'll be showing you game mechanics, but we won't be pushing um, any unlocks or story too far. I, I I also won't be showing you too many areas, just roughly what's where, but without details. Okay, so it's not gonna be very uh, much. Uh, uh, spoiler rich. <laughs> I try to avoid them, but well, I can just go from the start because we have very s uh, small amount of things unlocked. And I want to show you what's good in the game, which is um, it is uh, how to call it. It has some content because those games should have content, and there's a problem because, of course, Stardew Valley may have more content. This game ev evidently looks better. It also has mods. I don't know how mods work. I'm gonna click it now. Maybe no mods found. Okay, I'm actually happy because I'm not very big fan of mods. I don't like them. Also, I switch off music because I wanna con com uh, comment uh, settings. Uh, now, what's interesting? We have simulate color blindness. I don't know how it works. I cannot test it because I don't. I'm not color blind, but it's very nice. It's there. And uh, then we, you can even slow down action scenes. Which is very interesting because we can basically make the game uh, easier if you can't do it. The vision um, size of the eye, low vision users. Yeah, I guess this is cool. You can switch the size. Oh yeah, this is even better actually. Even now, I like big stuff like this. Maybe not too big. Ah, let's leave it with 0 0.8. It works so far. Uh, full screen is very interesting. Uh, it doesn't have a resolution, but you can drag the window. And uh, I switched off full screen to check if it's recording. Uh, it works, and I just resize the window uh, slightly. So, well, it's actually half of my screen now. Uh, I also switch off vignette and blur. This is what I don't like. Generally, it's good that you uh, can switch it off. What I like about the game is that it's very clear and uh, detailed. And this was just blurring. It was doing the opposite of what I want. Also, music. I'm not gonna even show you the music. Uh, mm, it's there. Well, whatever. Uh, I just wanna talk about the game. Okay, so we go back to my save. 
Also, I would like more save files. Uh, at least three for a character. Uh, what's there? Um, this is our house, generally speaking. Uh, we can cook various stuff. There is quite uh, a lot of different dishes. You can cook like this. Uh, we also have um, inventory section with food, which doesn't go in our inventory. And uh, the biggest problem I have about inventory, it doesn't uh, show the prices. Like this item, or this item, it doesn't show you how much it's worth. Which is a problem, because you have to... Um, for instance, let's say I want to uh, sell the fish, right? Like this. I don't know how much it's worth, if I should do it. It is showing us slightly how much uh, fatigue we're going to get from eating it. But now if I want to um, sell it, I have to first take it from there. Then put it to inventory, put it here, and manually test. Okay, it's 16. So I would have to remember. I would like to have it, like, this is $16. So I know, right? It would be nice. Uh, it doesn't say. So this is a problem that I have. Uh, I have two uh, rooms because I upgraded um, the house once. Uh, then we have uh, easel. We can draw uh, pictures. For that we need flowers and lumber different flowers, it's like colors, basically you can collect flowers in the game and craft with them. I'm gonna show you the chest, this is where you can put your stuff and I guess it's uh, common for every chest in the game world because I went to some character houses and it was available from there, which is very weird but it's okay. Also inventory is very small, I don't know uh, how you upgrade inventory space, there is one upgrade that is supposed to uh, upgrade some storage, but I don't know what storage they mean. Uh, is it the storage on the character or what? It doesn't explain too well. And then, okay, this is grinder. You can grind various things, like if you went flour, you need uh, bristle grain, and then you grind it. It takes time, like this. It works. And then use flour, for instance, for making uh, bread, like this. So there's lots of crafting. Um, you can also switch your character, which I absolutely loved at the beginning. Uh, so many options in a game like this. It's quite pretty actually. It's still slightly pixel art, but very little pixel art. I hate pixel art, so this is something for me, exactly. I absolutely love it. Uh, so we have accessories, we have uh, shoes of different uh, kinds, uh, pants, shirt, eye types, eyebrows types, nose types, even uh, three of them, but still. Different colors of skin and different hairstyles. So this is really nice, really nice if you want to make a nice character. I think this is, what is it? Uh, one was for the look, I think this is for the, yeah, this is just for the look entirely. So I absolutely loved it, I changed my beginning character. And uh, this is the um, table to make stuff, which is like uh, pens for animals, which I didn't unlock yet. Uh, we can make bouquets and sell them. We can make different uh, types of furniture probably just for the look. Also, it doesn't say what it does. I would like it to be explained how much it's worth, uh, if I want to make it and sell it, and what it does. Because, you know, it doesn't really say. You have to guess what it is. Like, Well, it kind of says with funny puns, but sometimes it just doesn't say what it actually does. Uh, I would like to have, like, I guess those are, yeah, Containment, but is it needed for making um, uh, like a place for animals, or they live in those animal pens, and this is just visual? Uh, is this visual? Well, kitchen, I don't know. Kitchen cabinet. Do we need kitchen cabinet, or do we need this? We cook here, right? Kitchen cabinet is what? It's nothing. It's it's unclickable. What, what does it do? Does it add to the to what? It doesn't add to anything, it's just there, it exists for the sake of it. I would prefer it to have, like, effect on our stamina or something, you know. Uh, you can also change the floor uh, somehow. I don't have to, uh, oh, oh, I know how. <laughs> you have to buy the interior, but you can make the exterior different as well. You have this. Uh, wait, wait, where is it? So, you can switch how house looks, like this, and you can switch colors. See, this is really funny if you want to make your place look nice. I want the same color, but I can find it. It would be better if I can just pick a color, then just go through them. And there's not many of them, for unknown reason. I don't know why I can have the same color like this. 
Um, also, it would be nice if you can click away with this, with the right mouse button. You can't. You have to click the same spot to get rid of this. So you take the hammer, put away the hammer. Take this uh, brush, put away the brush. Take this uh, hose. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, take the hose. It's, it's very nicely done. It's even animated. Works awesome. And the graphic style is absolutely beautiful. I just love it. It's like a picture. I don't know. It's like a picture and something 2D made of paper. But at the same time, it's, it's not like paper. It's very, it's very polished. Uh, here we can take... Uh, what is it? Seeds uh, in the bird's nest. There are seeds for the uh, for the field because then we have to take. Oh, this is just a flower. Uh, we take various seeds uh, and put them into the field so that we can grow plants. Uh, also, there is a cycle of uh, summer and eclipse, which is like winter. Uh, okay, uh, what else? Uh, this does um, extracting seeds from plants, so we have to take a crop, but it doesn't go to inventory, it goes to our warehouse, for unknown reason, it goes here. Would be better if it just goes, uh, if it just went to inventory and we had bigger inventory, because this is a bit annoying. Like, this galaxy gourd uh, came here, now if I want to, let's say, sell it, I have to take it from there, and bring it, and of course I don't know the price, so I have to bring it here and ship it away, like this, okay? Now, uh, by eating we regain uh, fatigue, which is used to... I'm gonna show you maybe. Uh, we're gonna go to the cave, so we can collect flowers, and we can talk to people in their houses. There is a map, which I also don't like, because it's only showing uh, fields and houses. It doesn't show uh, the land. I would prefer if it showed the landscape, and if I could go um, in and out with a mouse, that would be better. But at least you know roughly which direction to go where. Uh, the houses contain NPCs that you have to uh, talk to and unlock events with them and make missions for them. Generally, you have to date them and at some point uh, have uh, some sort of relationship with them. That's how I understand it. Uh, this tree isn't really a tree, so we can just collect flowers from there. This is uh, berries. We can eat to regain um, stamina. We can do it. We can eat one berries like this. It goes up. Now you can take genetic code from an uh, animals. You can also catch um, insects, you can cut trees, you can uh, get stone, you can also, this is an insect, so you can catch the insect, and uh, that's one more thing to do. What else? I'm trying to find the um, cave, I'm gonna go to cave, to find it. It was there, I guess, or not. Maybe I, I lost it. Let's see the map. Yeah, the cave is here, so I lost it. It's not, not the place. This is the place. Um, as I said, I'm not gonna unlock any progress. Just show you what I have right now, kinda, in the main area. Yeah, you can get stuff like this. And then you can fish as well. Looks like this. So some mini games, uh, lots of stuff to unlock. You have also missions. I don't know. I have no missions. I'm not sure how they appear. You have to uh, just go through it with many days, or talk to someone, or maybe unlock. I'm gonna show you how you uh, interact with NPCs, maybe, uh, or maybe we can collect some stuff from the field. I'm just just showing you a part of my day in the Verdant Skies. Uh, collect stuff. It doesn't go, as I say, into my inventory. It goes into the warehouse. So it's, it's not here. This is something else. Uh, or maybe this. Maybe this. I don't know. I know some stuff goes to warehouse. Let's see. Uh, we, might, we might even test it. Okay, we're gonna plow this and plains field. Yeah, there is three biomes. There's mountains, marsh and plains. And we have to 
put your crops in right places. So you have to run around and do all three biomes, sort of. Mm, plains field, yeah, okay, one more. Also those um, crops have features that you can splice in a special machine and uh, make uh, genetically modified stuff. This is one more thing to do. Mm, I don't think I have one splicer. I have it in NPC's house. That's one more thing to do. Uh, what is there? Mm, maybe it's here. Yeah, it's the wild lab. So basically you can talk to a guy once a day. Oh, he's gonna do something. Generally I should be nice to them, all of them I think. So this is like one interaction. Uh, I don't know how. Now it's choking. Hopefully the game doesn't die. And he leaves. Yeah. There is a lot of puns in this game. I like puns. Uh, I do. Uh, the game kinda choked and I had a slight error on uh, OBS right now. Awesome. He likes pants. I like pants as well. Okay. Discs. Oh, I got something. I got a disc. So, you unlock those hearts somehow by... Mm, I, I'm not sure how exactly it triggers. I know there is a thing like this. And that you have to do stuff for them. Basically, you have to give them various items and unlock collection. So, this is kinda helping. But at the same time, you have to talk to them regularly and uh, somehow trigger events. I'm not entirely sure how it works because I didn't play Stardew Valley, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. Uh, so yeah, th this is the bonus you get uh, once a day. Uh, let's say I like it. Okay. Whatever, that's all you can do. He's gonna just repeat it. And this is not gonna change. And uh, this, yeah, this is the grinder. Where is the splicer? I want to show this. Oh, see, you can splice stuff. Like you splice um, two cabbages. No, this is the cabbage. So you splice one cabbage with another cabbage. It does something like this, and then you splice them. And then you get a different cabbage, which is probably worse because I don't know how to use it. But it's there. You know, you can do stuff like this. And now for the interface. Um, so yeah, we have missions, we have map, which doesn't work here, and we have roughly what's there in the game. So fish, insects, crops, and upgrades on our equipment. Uh, some stuff that you have to get, because you don't get those three, you get just four basic tools. Uh, or five, I think it's five. Yeah, I think you have five tools, and then you unlock these. And then you have achievements, which go into relationships. Uh, apparently there's four more NPCs, so overall like ten of them. Uh, some for aging, which I did some of it. And something with production. I'm not going to even tell you what's what. You have to figure it out yourself. Um, then, yeah, I guess settings are the same. It can open wiki. I didn't really check the wiki yet, so uh, I am not sure what's there. Uh, we can save like this. That's a problem. I would prefer separate saves for every character. Because if the game crashes, and it does, so far, uh, so I would prefer just for safety have at least three files. Because one file, if it gets corrupted, you're screwed. Uh, so far it wasn't. I'm very happy with the game. I love it. But, um, you know, I don't want to lose my progress. So this is risky. Especially if they are going to patch the game. Maybe even wipe saves. I don't know if they will. But hopefully they won't. Uh, anyway, I would prefer more saves. Um, controls, I don't even check them because they are okay, you know. I don't think I, I missed something. Progress journal, I guess, I don't know, if this is the journal that we have. I guess we have it there, so I don't have to click it. Um, yeah, it's just stuff that you can change. I'm not using control, of course. And done. Yeah, I would prefer to go with escape, not with button, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so how big is the game? Well, you have those th this village sort of that will grow houses once you unlock people. Uh, you have one big biome, 
at the beginning, then three more, uh, let's say, areas at least that I know of. So if you roughly run through the game at the beginning, you can say it's like four times bigger. I'm not sure if it's bigger than that. So it's not very big, but it does take time to do stuff. Yeah, again, one more fish. You can catch two if you throw properly, like this. And this was built by me. You have to build parts of the town. I might show you an, another one that I have to build yet. I don't know uh, how much stuff there is. I have a lot of comple uh, completion, like 80%, I think. See, 86.7, but uh, it's not everything in the game yet. Uh, I don't uh, do much uh, in terms of uh, relationships yet. You can, uh, as you can see, build stuff like this. Of course, I have no money yet, so I have to grind the money and uh, slowly build stuff, get the, uh, of course, the uh, all parts that you need and just collect flowers, sell them for one dollar each one way to do it of course there's night and day uh, the thing is you don't really have to sleep uh, sleeping just gets you more stamina but you can keep eating from what I understand I was uh, just going like this and uh, it works. You just can't talk really to NPCs because they're gonna say they need rest and you can't really, uh, do anything with them. So you can just keep going unless you have to do uh, some digging or plowing fields or anything that uh, eats your stamina. And if you have no food, you can just uh, sleep. Also, I'm gonna show you the shop maybe. I don't know if it's there because there's one shop for sure here. No, it's not this. What is it? Really? I don't recall this place. Why I don't recall this place? Maybe I wasn't there yet. There should be a place to uh, click something. Oh, we can even change curtains. And there's also stuff like this. Uh, oh, fences. So he wants fences. Uh, I didn't start. The oh, this is, I guess the security guy. This is, as you can see, access to our own chest, which is very weird, but it's convenient. And here you can... Uh, I don't know what this does, because I don't have it. Uh, you can check what's, uh, what's uh, with the guy, how far are we in, in the relationship with him. And then we can change the name even, if you want to. Keep original. And then it tells you also who is who in the game. So this is the graphic style, mostly plus whatever you see uh, here in my opinion it's very very pretty I'm just gonna talk to him maybe yeah he wants to sleep and wants me to go out so at night you can't really do it I'm gonna try to find you a shop to just show you a shop and one more thing and then we'll be finishing because I don't wanna show you too much of the game I think this is the shop because I'm see it would be nice if I had something here telling me what is what because I'm forgetting like, I think this is the, the shop, but it doesn't say in any way. So I have to just remember it. This guy, yeah, Miles Shop. So you can buy uh, pieces for your house, interiors, uh, like wallpapers. Also, stuff like this. You can just put on tables, mugs, speakers, glasses, and stuff like this. I uh, guess this is the same. Yes. He also wants something from us. He wants clay pots. We have to make uh, them out of clay. We have to dig out. And those are basic resources. We can generally buy stone and lumber instead of hacking at it. Or we can get it ourselves. Uh, we can also get salt from stones, but we can also buy salt here. Apparently we can groom animals. Uh, but I didn't unlock it yet. So last thing I'm going to show you will be the... Uh, upgrade place which will show you roughly what you can get, have in game see those are the upgrades and blueprint that I have so far so I can get now new uh, more expensive um, upgrades at least three levels of them then you can have uh, like better sprinklers you can have uh, something to make animals uh, produce them from the genes you found you can blow stuff with dynamite uh, 
this is weird. Storage upgrade station. Even more room for scrap. Like, what storage? It would be nice if I had an explanation here. What storage? Where is storage? Is it storage in chests? Is it storage on my character? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we also have sprinkler. Didn't test them yet. Of course, you need money for this. Uh, I can't make this one because I don't have parts. Mm, I'm gonna show you the 3D printer. This is just basically at the very beginning of the game, so it's not much of a spoiler. See, this is the uh, 3D printer. So let's say we want to have a um, circuit like this. So we need first a blank circuit board, which is even here. I think it's made out of clay or something. And then we need uh, all those ores and minerals and stuff like this to make it. Uh, we'll try to maybe make it. Of course, probably I won't be able to. I'm going to show you. Uh, where the problems? Oh well, it's not the problem. It's a task to do. I'm not saying it's bad. It's good, but we always encounter something to do to do something else. So let's say if you want this um, circuit thing, you first need this probably circuit casting mold from clay. So first we need clay. Then we need to, I guess, make it here blank circuit board. First we need to powder the rock, get the mold from clay. Then use this circuit board with stuff that we took away from the mine and then do this to, to make the upgrade. So this is quite complicated. But you slowly get there, you slowly get stuff and um, yeah, you can put some water. See, even the water spreads nicely, like gradually. The graphic style is just absolutely awesome. For, for a game like this, it's awesome. Uh, the price... Um, it is absolutely stable, I would say. The price is almost okay. It's probably one of the best, if not the uh, best looking game of the genre. So, I'm absolutely in love with this. Uh, the price isn't low at this point. It's like over $15. So, if this doesn't have too much content, and if it's slightly unstable and maybe other issues, I'm not sure if you want to buy it now. But it's definitely worth um, looking for uh, what's going on with the game. I'm gonna stop here, maybe, like on uh, on this. So, uh, actually, it's one of the best games I've played so far. Uh, looks best of all the games in the genre that I played or rather watched so far. Uh, I wasn't too sure if I wanna buy any sort of clone for uh, Stardew Valley or Stardew Valley itself. This looks really nice, it uh, plays nice, um, it has quite some depth, maybe not enough if someone is a veteran of Stardew Valley, but for everybody else who likes games like this, should be enough fun to have. Uh, I played 5 hours plus 30 minutes now, and I don't have, uh, as you can see, everything uh, unlocked yet, so there's more gameplay to have. I'm just not sure where it ends. Uh, if I'm closing to the end, then uh, aside from doing relationships with people, I'm not sure how far it goes. Is there an end to the game? Is there other biomes? Is there other planets? I would love to see them. I would love to see um, other pl uh, planets with different biomes to make the game much bigger. That would be awesome. But what we have for now is a very good looking game. A ve very good um, specimen of the genre. It generally works well, well it crashed twice, but as you can see it, worked ni it works nicely, it loads fast, uh, it has proper settings, very pleasant graphics, a um, lot of stuff to do, very satisfying, uh, I fully recommend it, I'm giving uh, 9 out of 10, uh, fix the crashes, uh, keep patching the game, uh, and I would be absolutely happy if you add more content. If you add more content, it would be 10 out of 10. Uh, this is literally the best game i played so far. Uh, I wanted always to play something like Stardew Valley, and I could play this. I was extremely happy. It got me hooked for like 2 hours and then 3 hours in one sitting. I was just walking around, unlocking stuff, testing things. Uh, it was very pleasant, very nice. Uh, but yeah, it crashed twice, so uh, fix the issues with the game, mm, keep working on it, upgrade it, uh, I'm giving full recommendations, very nice game, awesome game, uh, I would like to see more from your studio, uh, if, and for other developers, guys, uh, look at this game, 
And whatever you're making, make it look pretty, make it look nice, make it responsive with proper interface, not annoying, okay? Uh, whatever genre you, uh, game you're making, stop downgrading games. I, I'm so tired of this lately. Uh, I have now 1.6 thousand games on Steam. And this whole idea about releasing pixel art retro games as excuses to just having no money or no time or no will to making a game look good, even if it's 2D like this one, I don't buy it. Guys, if I'm paying for a game, I want it to have parts of a game. I want it to, of course, have gameplay, which is most important. But I also want graphics, I want music, I want voice acting, I want the story, I want complexity, everything. Because I'm paying for everything that you put in your game. If you put nothing, I'm not paying you. Okay? If you just put uh, a little bit of story and ready assets from RPG Maker, no. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying the game just for the story, even if it's awesome. And if it's awesome, it's a waste. I say, if you don't have money to release your game, sell the idea to a big studio. Sell your idea, sell your story, take money for it, uh, collect money, then maybe make your own game. But don't release underbaked games that are downgraded. This is a really bad way to just clog this team with crappy games that are a pain to look at, that are crashing. Well, this one is crashing as well, but they are crashing even more. And there is nothing really in them. There's just one gimmick or one idea, and that's it. That's the whole game. This game has all the parts. It has settings. It has um, story. It has complexity. It has uh, crafting, uh, different assets, uh, very good graphics. It's not fully uh, full price of a title, even though it's really good. And um, I see that developers do care about their game. I've seen one patch uh, right after release and hopefully they, they will fix the issues. Uh, hopefully they will be also respond, responsive on forums, um, maybe in the commentary here as well. Tell me what you think about the game, if you played it. I would be also happy to hear from developers. Maybe they can uh, switch a few things that I talked about, maybe improve the game. But I'm very happy that I uh, was able to play it. And I'm not saying it because I got the key. Yes, I got the key for free. But sometimes I really, um, I really die inside when I have to play a game just because I got the key. Because I have to. I have to play it to show you, you know, make a review. But I know from like one, two, three, five minutes, and the game is gonna be really bad. And I'm just looking for something positive because you know I'm trying to be um, respectful to some groups of people who like other types of games. However, many cases I can't say anything good. Games are just bad. Uh, you know, they are going on Steam in numbers, thousands, hundreds, and many of those games are really bad. I would say 95% of games on Steam are bad, uh, which I don't mind personally, because I know how to choose a good game when I'm buying one, and I do trade with um, trading cards, so some games are worth buying just for that. But uh, I would really want, want to see well-done games. Like in the last 20 years, uh, even without technology, people were able to make good games and it should be even easier now. So I don't want um, any downgraded bad games uh, being shown to me. I will of course review them, I will do them, but it's your risk. You're just shooting yourself in the foot because I'm going to absolutely hate them. This is a game done right. So. Whatever game you're making, make it look at least like this. Make it at least look good and run well and be complex. Whatever it is, you know, and if you start cutting pieces of the game, if there is almost nothing to offer, you should also cut the price very deeply, even below the lowest uh, price on Steam, which is usually 49 cents. Some games are not even worth that. So uh, set your prices according to what you're actually offering and start making games like this one or better. I'll be the happiest person on earth to review them because I had fun, enjoy playing this. I want to play more good looking games, more nice games, more pleasant games, and not uh, all the downgraded stuff that is uh, on Steam right now. So that will be it. Uh, big props for the developer. I'm probably going to play it. I'm almost sure I'm going to play it. Uh, to the end or until I lock uh, everything. Uh, looking forward to more titles from you and that will be it for the long review. See you guys in the next one.
I'm afraid it's gonna be something less awesome than this one. See you guys in the next review.